Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about signalling in the UK containing information about semaphore signals, colour light signals and shunting signals. Semaphore signals are an old-fashioned type of signal used from the 1840s. Very few exist in mainland use today, replaced by colour light signals. They were first used on what became the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway around 1842, and after this they were seen as the best type of mechanical signals available, not just in the UK, but around the world. A semaphore signal arm consists of two parts, the blade, usually made of wood or metal, which pivots at different angles, and a small spectacle, which holds coloured lenses which move in front of a lamp to help provide indications at night time. Stop signals are the red arm signal, used to protect things such as junctions, level crossings and block sections. When the signal is pointing 45 degrees, it means all clear, when the signal is horizontal, it means danger. Distance signals are the yellow signals used to provide the advance warning of a stop signal, and when they are 45 degrees downwards or upwards it means that it is all clear, and when they are pointing horizontal it means the next stop signal may be at danger. Semaphore signals have mostly been phased out in favour of the colour light signal in the UK. There are some secondary lines that do use semaphore signals, but the use of them is still declining. Colour light signals were experimented with as early as 1913 in the UK, but became more widespread after the 1920s as the technology developed. In the UK, there are seven types of display that can be shown on a colour light signal. Green, meaning clear. Double yellow, meaning preliminary caution. Single yellow, meaning caution, the driver must be prepared to stop for a red signal. Flashing yellow, the next signal is showing single yellow with a diverging route indication and of course, red meaning danger or stop. In some places, signals can be flashing green. The train may proceed at speed, but this signal display is used. Green means the next signal is displaying double yellow. The smaller white lights, often called feathers, are used as junction indicators to say which way the points are set to. Mini disc semaphores are operated in the same way as full size semaphores. Shunting signals are used for shunting movements and to provide indication for where a shunter should go. When two red lights are shown in a horizontal arrangement it means this is the limit of shunt and should not be passed. When two white lights are shown at a 45 degree angle it means that the driver may shunt ahead. When the signal shows two yellow lights, it means that the driver may shunt past the light with caution. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.